Basic Animation Key Controls. In this lesson, we will see how we can use key controls for animation. Key controls are located to the left of the time controls. Set Key mode gives you control over what you key and when. Toggle Auto Key mode. The Auto Key button turns the key framing mode called Auto Key on or off. Whatever changes have been done will be keyframed while the Auto Key button is on. When it's off, these changes are applied to frame zero. When the Auto Key button is on, it's red. The active viewport is also outlined in red when the Auto Key mode is on. The time slider turns red as well. This serves to remind you that you are in Animate mode. Toggle Set Key Mode the Set Key animation system is mainly designed for the professional character animator who wants to try out poses and then commit those poses to keyframes intentionally. It can also be used by any animator to set keys on specific tracks of objects. This way of working allows more control than the Auto Key method because it gives you the chance to try out ideas and discard them quickly without having to undo work. Selection Set drop-down list specifies a selection set to use for the given keys. Default In, Out, Tangents for new keys. This flyout provides a quick way to set a default tangent type that is either smooth, linear, step, slow, fast, custom, or flat tangent for new animation keys created with any mode, like Set Key Mode, or Auto Key Mode. Note, changing tangent types does not affect existing keyframes. It will only affect the new ones. Key Filters. This button will open a Filters dialog box, which will turn on the tracks you want to key. Default values are Position, Rotation, Scale, and IK parameters. These are all important animation key controls, which we will use to control our animation. So get ready to learn basic key animation in the next lesson.